Hey geeks, when it comes to creating videos using OBS, this is something that I do a lot. I do a lot of screen recordings, but I also do videos where I have a camera or cameras as my video source. So right now I am using my Panasonic G85 Micro Four Thirds camera, but I also have my webcam here. This is my Logitech webcam, but I also have yet another camera. I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and this gives a lot of flexibility in terms of the type of cameras that I use, the angles I want to shoot at, and also the type of quality that I want to have whenever I'm using OBS as my software to record my videos. But what if I want to actually have all three cameras on at the same time? Well, I'm going to show you that today because first I have two cameras my webcam and my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and then finally I'm using three different camera sources at the same time with my Panasonic G85 camera over here my Logitech webcam over here and finally my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 over here and so as you can see all three cameras are being used and if you're not familiar or not even certain on how to do this, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily set this up in OBS. Okay, so as you can see, we're here on my desktop and I have my front webcam, uh, but I also have my Panasonic G85 camera over there. And finally, I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 down there. And the first thing you want to do is to actually add a scene. Now, I'm going to assume that you have some basic knowledge of OBS. And so I'm going to try to go through this for beginners. And so if you go down here to your plus sign, you could add a scene. You could name it whatever you want. And I already created one called Test Cameras. And so if I go there, there's nothing here. It's blank. And this is where you need to add your sources. And so we'll go down here to the plus sign. And specifically, we want to add a video capture device. And so in this case, you can name it whatever you want, but I already have some that's existing. So I'm going to add existing. And the first thing I'm going to add is my Logitech webcam. So as you can see there, there is my web camera. But you might also notice that it doesn't fill the entire screen. So what you want to do is select it, then right click on your mouse. Then you go to transform and then fit to screen. And now it's fit the entire screen. And the thing is, if you're not seeing anything from this video source, you do want to check your properties. So choose the source, go to properties, and then under your device, it's going to show all the devices that's connected to your computer. So I have my Logitech C920 webcam that you're seeing right now. I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and I have my Mirrorbox capture card for my Panasonic G85 camera through HDMI. And then, at least for me, there's some other settings that you might want to use if in case you see like a blank screen, nothing showing up or if things don't look right. And so what you need to do is go here to video format because sometimes it'll default to YUYV422 or motion JPEG and I have issues with that. And so what I need to do is choose BGR3 emulated and at least for me that works. And so after that, your resolution by default, it is set to leave unchanged, so it'll match whatever your video source has. But at times, if you have issues with it, what you might want to do is change that resolution to match your device. So in this case, it's 1080p for my webcam, and everything else, I just leave unchanged. And so those are settings that you might want to adjust if you're either not seeing anything from your video capture source, or if it looks really odd. So that's how you would set up a source and you would do this on every single video source. So now that we have this camera, let's go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Panasonic G85. We'll go through the same exact process, but I already have this available. And in this case, I actually want this one to be my base camera, meaning that the camera that I have at the bottom and then I want the other cameras to be above it. So I'm gonna do something similar to what I did before. I'm gonna go ahead and transform, make this fit to screen. But now I want this to be at the bottom so where I could see this webcam and another camera above it. So what you need to do is move this one to the bottom. So now it's at the very bottom and this Logitech webcam is on top. 
So now I could actually resize this. And this is really basic. You could make it as complex or fancy as you want. And so now I have my mirror box capture card with my Panasonic G85 at the base below it. And then I have my other cameras above it. And if I wanna lock this to where it doesn't change, I could go ahead and lock it right there. And you could do the same thing here. And you could also make it visible or invisible, as you could see there. So the last step here is to add my final source. So I'm gonna go here again, same process, video capture device, I'm gonna add existing. There it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and resize this. This is my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera. I'm using this as a webcam, and I'll just resize it as such. And if I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and lock it. And that's it, that's all that you have to do to have a triple three camera setup, but it's not limited to just three cameras. If you had other cameras, like for example, I have another camera right behind me, that is my Panasonic S52X full frame camera. And I don't know if there's any limits to how many video sources you could add using OBS, but you kind of see the overall process. It's really easy to do. And depending upon your computer, how much power it has, it could probably power even more video sources. So that's how I set up a triple three camera setup using OBS. If you actually had any other ways you do this or any other thoughts in this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.